chapter 8, Locus, part 1. Please turn to page 2. It obeys some specific conditions. That path uh, or the feasible to, uh, position of that pawn is called locus. Let's see some daily life example. You can see this is a path of minibus A08. Uh, we can cause this path, okay, is one of our daily life example of locus. Uh, because I know the minibus and uh, obey this path. Not only this example, we have a uh, different kind of example. Second example I want to show it to you is uh, our Earth orbit. You can see this is a shape of an uh, ellipse shape, and then we can also call this path is the locus of our Earth. And in this topic, I would like to introduce some typical or simple example uh, of the locus. If you know, uh, if I give you some certain uh, situation, I hope you can remember the shape of the locus. Let's see example 1, example 9.1. This is a obvious example of locus. If a moving point P maintain an equal distance for unit from a fixed point A, that means P is a point maintain an equal distance from fixed point A. For example, if this is only two unit, this is not a possible position of point P. Also, if we have a pawn, if the distance between these two pawns is 5 units, it's not possible uh, position of pawn P. Then you can move this pawn near then until 4 units. Remember, P is a moving pawn, such that if we can maintain a, a distance with pawn A with 4 units, all the possible, all the pawn are possible or uh, possible position of pawn P. So that you can see, uh, the shape of the locus is a circle. <coughs> With four unit. In this topic, uh, the first thing you need to know is that I know how to sketch the locus if I give you some condition. Second, second thing you need to know is how to use the sentence to describe the locus between the locus and fixed point A. Before that, I want to introduce another notation. This notation called gamma. So if pawn the pawn in B form a path of gamma, describe the geometric relationship between pawn and A. That means I need to use a sentence to describe the locus. I know gamma is a circle. Center and Pawn A with radius 4. Then what is the equation of locus? Because this is a circle and the radius is equal to 4, and the center is 3 and 4. So I can also use an equation to describe the locus. X minus 3 square plus Y minus 4 square is equal to 4 square. This is the equation of locus. So that in this topic, remember, 
we have three important concepts. First, if I if I have the description of the pawn P, first you need to recognize the locus, the shape of the locus. This is a circle. Second, how to describe the locus. First thing you need to describe is the shape and then the uh, some more special of this circle, for example, center and A and radius. The last thing is that you need to know how to use the mathematical language to describe the locus. Let me find an equation of locus. Example 9.2. A moving point P maintain an equal distance free unit from its fixed line L. That means I know P is a pawn, maintain an equal distance, free unit. I just, uh, but before that, you need to know what is the distance between a pawn and straight line. If this is pawn P, one of the possible positions, what is the distance between P and this straight line? Remember, must be perpendicular distance. So I know P can be here and, and then also here because the perpendicular position uh, perpendicular distance is also equal to three. Three, 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 three. After uh, draw some possible values of P, I know this is a straight line and must be parallel to L. Maybe you will ask, Mr. Chen, no, not only this sign, because we can uh, have some possible position of point P on the other side. So, yes, you are right. This sign, we can also have some possible position for P. This is the shape of the locus. How to describe it? I know gamma is 2 parallel line parallel to L and maintain the distance free unit. <coughs> How to find the equation of locus? How to find the equation of locus? Because I know straight line L. with slope 3 over 4 and y intercept is equal to 2 so this is equal to 2 and slope is equal to 3 over 4 so I know why uh, the equation of this two straight line that means the equation of gamma must be y is equal to 3 over 4 x plus c and where c is the y intercept c2 but how to find the y intercept? Second information we have is equal distance. Uh, the distance between these two straight lines is equal to 3. That means this is 3 and this is 3. But remember the hypotenuse of this triangle is not equal to 3. So what can we do? How can I find the uh, uh, hypotenuse of this triangle? You may make good use of slope. Because slope is equal to 3 over 4. I can find angle theta because angle theta is equal to arc tangent three over four. Then that means I can find this angle. 
90 degree minus theta. So yellow angle is equal to 90 degree minus. So by using your calculator, you can find uh, this yellow angle is equal to 90 degree minus tangent. And arc tangent field for 4 is equal to 72 point something. And then sine 72.1087 blah, 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 is equal to 3 over y. You can find the length of the y-intercept. So this is equal to 5.75 and this is equal to 91.75. You can find the and the equation of locus, which is equal to y is equal to three over four x plus five point seven five, or y is equal to three over four x minus one point seven five. How about example nine point three? P is a moving point maintaining an equal distance from two fixed parallel line L1 and L2 mm, not very difficult to sketch the uh, locus because I know P maintain equal distance with this two spec line so we have one possible solution by using the previous example I know okay so how to describe the locus gamma is a Straight line and parallel to L one and L two with equal distance. To L one and L two. How do you find the equation of locus? Let's see. Because L1 and L2 with slope is free. So this is this straight line must be y is equal to 3x plus the y-intercept. And the y-intercept of L1 and L2 is 4 and 8 respectively. So must be the midpoint of 4 and 8. So the final answer is 3x plus 6. y is equal to 3x plus y intercept. y intercept is equal to 4 plus 8 divided by 2. So 3x plus 6. Example 9.4. Example 9.4. A moving point P maintain equal distance from two fixed point A and B. The coordinate of this two point is one three and two six. What's the shape of the locus? Because P is the moving and uh, is the equal distance. Maybe you can guess if you cannot imagine. For example, consider P is this point. You know impossible because P A is shorter than P B. So maybe you remove P nearby and point B. And then one obvious solution, one obvious position of point P must be the midpoint of B. So maybe you can see this is the possible positions. And then can you see? Must be perpendicular distance. So how to describe the locus? Gamma is a straight line. Perpendicular to A, B, and pass full, passing full, the midpoint of, of A, B. Okay, so this is the descriptions of the locus. How do you find the equation of locus? Maybe, maybe. There are two methods. The first method is that. Uh, because I can find the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of AB. By adding, adding them, the x-coordinate and y-coordinate 
together and divide by two. You can find slope of AB, and you can also find the slope of gamma. But if I were you, I will not use this method because this method is uh, because you know the shape of the locus and then you find it. If I do not know gamma is a perpendicular distance, a perpendicular bisector, how can I find the equation of locus? In general, in our daily life, uh, it is very difficult to imagine the shape of the locus. So you need to use mathematical way to find the locus. How? One information only. I know AP, the distance between AP must be equal to BP. Then, let XY be the position, the coordinate of point P. Square root of X minus 1 square plus y minus 3 squared is equal to square root of x minus 2 squared plus y minus x squared. Take square on both sides, you can cancel out this 2 square root and then expand the left hand side and right hand side. x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus x y plus 9 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 12y plus 36 and then you can cross out x squared and y squared move all the terms to the left hand side 2x negative 2x plus 4x so it's 4x uh, sorry it's 2x and then negative 6 y my uh, plus I add 12 y on both sides move to the left hand side so it's plus 6 y 1 plus 9 minus 4 minus 36 so it's minus 30 it's 10 minus 40 so remember simplify it This is the equation of locus. Without recognize the shape of the locus, we can also find the equation of locus. Uh, this is the real method, uh, how to make good use of the concept of locus, set up the equation, and solve it. I suggest you need to know this method rather than the previous one, because sometimes you cannot imagine. You can uh, you can only setting up the equation by uh, the given information. Example 9.5, 9.6, and 9.7. Uh, I want you to read your textbook, uh, 8.6 and 8.7. You may find some summary like this. Okay, try to sketch it and check it by itself. Okay, this is another two example. Okay, page. 6 and page 7. Uh, if you do, forgot to bring your textbook, maybe you can refer the situation uh, uh, on the screen and with the instructions. Maybe you can pause the video which is related to the moving point of two intersecting lines. And then the last example is a moving point and a fixed point and a fixed line. Okay, with this free example and try to complete example 7. Example 5, Example 6, and Example 7. We'll try to finish this free example. Let's discuss in our lesson.